Right now at noon on this Friday afternoon, as it is 12 o'clock, we have some breaking news. Philadelphia is dropping its mask mandate for the first time. And an emotional farewell for Jay Wright. Today is Earth Day, everybody. It's April 22nd, 2022. Thanks for joining us here. My name is William. Some of you know me as the Future News Journalist, which I am currently in. This is CBS 3 at noon, now streaming live on CBS News Philly. We have a lot of big news to get to today, folks. So guess who's back? My Aunt Stephanie Stahl, after having some issues with COVID-19. It's good to see you, Aunt Stephanie. Good afternoon to you. That's for sure. You got that right. I'm so glad you're back. Thank you, Aunt Stephanie. CBS3 will, of course, stay on top of this news from the health department. We have much more starting on Iwitis News at 4 o'clock with some of the awesome news journalists of the foreseeable future or of all time. The end of an era for Nova Nation, former that's right, former head coach Jay Wright calls it quits and passes it on to a young man named Mr. Kyle Neptune. My Aunt Alicia Roberts is live at Villanova's University, located in Villanova, that is, with the details there. Good afternoon to you, Auntie Alicia.
most proud of is the look at these guys down here. That these guys are ready to take this this program forward. On a very personal note, Jay Wright, one of the classiest guys you will ever meet in the game of sports. You can meet him one time, and he will remember you the next time that you see you, that he sees you. There was a lot of questions as well for Wright today about what is next. He says he honestly hasn't made that decision, but he did talk about how important it was to complete the job here at Villanova, saying that great endings lead to great beginnings, so perhaps leaving the door open for something next. Kyle Neptune did work under Jay Wright for 10 years. He spent the last year as the head coach at Fordham. Uh, Kyle Neptune, that is, calling Jay Wright his greatest influence in his career and saying this Philadelphia basketball is a dream come true for him. It definitely is a dream come true. No doubt about that. Thank you, Ati Alicia. You can watch my Uncle Pat Gallon's interview with Jay Wright on Iowa's News at 4 o'clock. It's a great start to the Friday. So far, I have my windows open and there's nothing you can tell right there. Out on the sky deck is my sister, meteorologist Larissa Abreu. So with that being said, she's one of my favorite meteorologists of CBS3 history, even though she came in 2020. Go ahead and take it away with your first check on the weather, Larissa. The afternoon and into the evening. Right now, we do have some 70s on the board. Melville out towards AC. If you're right here in Philly, we're not quite there. We're at 68, nice and comfy, though. The mercury is still rising. We're at 64 degrees in Trenton, 62 out towards Allentown, 52 up in the Poconos, so slightly cooler there. And the weather conditions will remain beautiful, pleasant for the rest of the afternoon. I really, if you don't have any plans, you should certainly make some. And with more on what you should do, I'm going to go ahead and send it over to my... I'm glad you're doing very fine with the uh, first check on the weather there. All right, Larissa, see you inside for your seven day forecast. Thank you so much. And now we're gonna go and switch gears and go directly to my Aunt Tammy Souza, all ready to go roller skating. She's one of my favorite meteorologists too. What's up, Aunt Tammy? Tammy, go. <laughs> Knowing me, I probably can't roller skate. I'm afraid I'll trip and fall and hurt myself right there. <laughs> but it does look like fun right there. Thanks for that live report there. We're coming right back with more of our Friday afternoon broadcast, people, with some of the rest of the top stories that are going on. So stay with us. <laughs> 